Good morning, Mayor and Commissioners. At the last two meetings, I highlighted the fallout from the lockdowns and the mandates, and today I'm going to address the elephant in the room, which is vaccine injury. As of today, the VAERS database has logged over 32,000 reported deaths from the vaccine in the U.S., and since most deaths, as you all know by now, don't get reported to this system, that number's closer to 300,000. In 1976, the swine flu vaccine was pulled after 25 deaths. CDC director lost his job. It was a national embarrassment. We could be pushing 300,000 and no one has blinked. 53,000 cases of reported myocarditis, making that true number closer to half a million. A pediatric nurse in California has blown the whistle who treated children with induced myocarditis and says that it was an unspoken rule you did not bring up the VAERS database or adverse reactions. I took care of those children who came in with myocarditis and I talked to the doctors because I was a charge nurse saying why aren't we reporting these to bears? It was an unspoken thing that we were not allowed to talk about openly on the unit. Her testimony supported by the following studies. Heart damage found in teens months after second shot increased emergency cardiovascular events in Israel. Why aren't you hearing about these studies? Well, maybe because of headlines like this. Researchers afraid to publish heart inflammation study risk loss of funding from Big Pharma. Next up is miscarriages at 5,140 reports, making that true number closer to 50,000. Dr. James Thorpe echoes this with data from the U.S. and Canada showing miscarriage is, is increased by a, a, a massive number. And his findings are backed up by FOIA docs that show the shot caused an avalanche of miscarriages and stillborn babies. Don't worry, all these sources will be in your inbox. DOD data, vaccines causing miscarriages, cancer, and neurological disorders among military members. In closing, the worst part about it is these folks have been ignored. They have literally have no recourse. There's no liability for the manufacturers. They've been ignored, gaslit, and hung out to dry. It is time to recognize them. Last but not least, you have an open invitation to come outside and address the elephant in the room. And I do mean that quite literally. There will be a massive elephant outside of the office all day today. Thank you.